clarity and closure of the viewer's comments. In this video, I will be looking at some of your comments that you've left on my videos. Now, they could be questions, they could be statements, they could be criticisms, and of course, there can be trolling going on as well. But I will be giving my Kuliana to your missives in this video. Remember, I don't take anything personal, and it's a good idea if you, perhaps, would do the same. Because with correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar, it's critical to maintain the balance of the honor, grace, peace, neutrality, and rule one, rule equal. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Welcome to the 12th edition of For the Clarity and Closure, the viewer's comments. Um, this week we have a plethora of comments to look at. Uh, unlike last week's version, when I had, I think, three, uh, simply because there was one big comment that I addressed. Uh, this one we have quite a few, so let's get to it. First one comes from 01110001 dot dot dot, and they say, is all this syntax just S-H-I-T? Well, there's one strike. They've I already violated the terms and conditions of my YouTube channel by using a curse word, using foul language. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I remind you that when you comment, there will be a box that pops up that offers the community guidelines for this channel, this comments field, which has, which has my personal terms and conditions in the, in the guide. And it's up to you whether you choose to read it or not. If you choose not to read it, then you have made a choice to not be aware of the terms and conditions of this channel. Uh, and if you're a first-time commenter, such as this individual, that box would definitely pop up when you go to make a comment. And so this individual either chose not to read them or read them and just doesn't care. What's the end goal? Well, the end goal of anything is personal to whoever sets the goal. Uh, if the end goal is to learn the grammar, then learn the grammar. If the end goal is to learn the grammar and then use it, then learn it and use it. I can't tell you what your goals are. And I think that's an issue that I find, you know, I've been doing this for five years. I've spoken with hundreds of people all over the earth. And I do find that a good amount of people want me to tell them what their goals are. They want me to inform them about what they should or shouldn't do, which is not my place to do that at all. I don't know if that has to do with the school system that they're involved in or their parents, where they're looking for guidance or leadership from other people, even though they're adults. I don't know. Uh, I know that I've never really, look, really looked to anyone else to make my goals for me. Uh, so, this must be a young individual, if they're asking me that type of question. Learn some Harry Potter word magic that will make you powerful and make believe, make believe fantasy. Well, if that's what you want to do, if you want to learn Harry Potter magic and exist in a fantasy domain, then, uh, you know, that's up to you. I'm looking at the profile picture of this uh, account, and I have to say that it, it must be a troll account, that they are just basically trolling. It's probably someone that, uh, well, I'm not even going to speculate on it. But it, in all seriousness, it's not magic. There's nothing magical about it. It's a very practical technology. Um, it's not a silver bullet. It takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to learn it. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It's definitely not for anyone who just wants to be spoon-fed or have other people t tell them what their goals should be. Is there any proof that this even works in courts, police encounters? Yes. Yes, there is. Am I better off just burning up my money and be done with it? Well, that's entirely up to you, being that money is fiction anyways. So it just it depends on what type of value you put on your money. 
Um, I mean, you basically came onto uh, my vessel by leaving this comment, violating the terms and conditions of the comments field, and you probably didn't even watch an entire video because if you would have, then you probably, if you were serious, you would have contacted me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and uh, asked for requested a video consult. But no, you decided to just leave a comment having nothing to do with learning the grammar. So, I did answer your comment, by the way, and uh, I didn't expect anything less than silence from you. With the next comment, I'd like to welcome back the Cane Beaner. If you remember in uh, one of the prior comments videos I made, uh, Cane Beaner was asking a few questions. Um, Cane Beaner comes from the Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould camp, meaning that they are a worshiper and follower of Russell J Gould um, and his authoritarian militaristic system. Keeper of the King Beaner also has admitted in the past that their grammar is trash, that they don't know correct sentence structure. And they've also made some really goofy accusations, like they accused me of being someone named Klaus Winther, which is really hilarious uh, that they would say that just because Russell J. Gould says it on his website, so now this individual says it without having any proof or any... Uh, evidence that any of it would even be remotely close to being true being that i've been on youtube for five years in the public with almost 500 youtube videos with me in them um my information is publicly available on the internet uh, <laughs> they would think that i'm somebody else which klaus winther as far as i know is a real individual uh, they're from overseas they did contact me a few years ago. I do have an email uh, exchange on file from them. And uh, I don't know. I just don't get how people like this can just navigate on assumptions. But in another sense, I do get it. Because if they're following Russell J. Gould, they are navigating on a lot of assumptions. Care to give five examples of what good people he has harmed? He's talking about little Russ here. Would you care to give five examples of correct grammar that Russell J. Gould has ever used ever in history? Keeper the King Bean. Ah, but how could you do that if you yourself don't even know the grammar? You wouldn't be able to. Uh, if you would contact me in the confidential, if you had the cojones to do so, which you don't because I think that you're a woman, uh, but if you would contact me in the confidential, my email address and request a 10 to 15 minute video consult, I could tell you a lot of things about this. People that I know personally that he has harmed. Uh, but you haven't done that, and I doubt you ever will. I think you'll just pop on here from time to time to troll the channel and give me more content to add to these uh, comments videos. Because it seems to me that there is a global crime syndicate with ancient ties, which I perceive to be a root cause of harm to the good people of this planet. And Chief here is one of the few calling as it is trying to stop him. Well, that is, of course, your perception. It seems to you, uh, ancient ties, ancient ties to what? Global crime syndicate. Okay. Sounds like you and uh, that first commenter are all together in the Harry Potter uh, fantasy land world over there. But it takes avoiding false divisions. What is a false division? I know what a division is when two things are divided, but how can one be false? Unless you think about a false division like the Democrats and Republicans uh, party in, the, in politics, where it appears as though they're divided, but they're actually two hands on the, on the same body, um, obeying the same head. That, I guess, could be considered a false division. Or maybe Mark Lord K. Kishon Christopher and Russell J. Gould might be two of the same hands on the same fiction body being controlled by the same fiction head. That's That could be a false division, right? And working together. Well, first you have to have knowledge 
you have to have something to bring to the table, Keen Beaner, in this domain. And if you don't know the grammar, and you're not serious about it, and you don't want to learn it, then and, and you're more than content to navigate with uh, assumptions about global crime syndicates and false divisions and, and things like that, and you're happy to follow behind someone that leads you along with cool fantasy stories like that, then, uh, well, that's your choice. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Charlie Richardson. For the claim of the Carla is with the claim of the clueless. Okay. I understand the sentiment behind Charlie's comment because what they are referring to is a comment that I reacted to in the, you see the little thumbnail in the corner there. Uh, someone named Carla had left a comment on my YouTube channel. I mean, it was the longest comment I had ever received. Uh, it was in the last comments video, comments 11. And, uh, but from a correct sentence structure standpoint, this sentence is not correct. Because number one, they're making a claim for someone else. They're making a claim for Carla. And that's a big no-no, that's a trespass. And number two, they end the sentence with an of the, which is not correct because correct sentence structure to maintain the mathematical interface must end with by the, with an authority. And they quite literally, they don't have a fact in the, the last part of their sentence. They have clueless in brackets, which isn't there. So literally their sentence says, for the claim of the Carla is with the claim of the, period. So it's just adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, nonsense. Uh, Charlie, here's some, uh, here's a free lesson for you. You have to bring your correct sentence structure into your jurisdiction. You have to take jurisdiction over it. You can't make, you shouldn't, well, okay. I can't really tell people what they shouldn't do or what they can't do. But what I can do is make a suggestion as to how to navigate to be successful with correct sentence structure. And I highly recommend only making claims for yourself. So you can bring it into your own jurisdiction by saying, for this claimant's knowledge of the facts is with this claim of the perception with the, and then go on to state what you're talking about, uh, about this individual. And then end it with uh, something like, you know, with this sensation by this claimant, comma, Charlie, or with this correct sentence structure conveyance, or whatever it is. But keep it in your jurisdiction. Don't make claims for someone else, otherwise, you know, that, that's a trespass. Next comment comes from Ruby G. Edwards. Thank you for the comment you made on my opinion. Colin Jason, I from Matthew Colin Glass. I truly believe you can teach any subject you may put your mind to. Your devotion is remarkable. You are a natural. I'm steadily learning and hopefully getting there. It's not easy just like most things in life which are new to the mind. My mind is getting deeply fried. Style of teaching is very clear. The challenge is to deconstruct the fiction and construct reality i'm not giving up because i know where the mind goes power flows respect thank you very much for the comment i appreciate your kind words next comment comes from magical fluid process you have illustrated some contradictions here that's for sure on a local radio station where i live there used to be a segment called lost in showbiz folks would call up with ridiculous examples of celebs getting too big for their boots in various scenarios, completely oblivious to other people. I am reminded of this when I listen to this vid as a think Russell may be lost in showbiz. Hope this makes sense. Great biz. Er, great vid. Thank you for the kind words, magical fluid process. Um, I, I agree. I, I think that that may be part of it. You know, I can't make a claim for Russell or what's going on in his own personal headspace. But it, I can see how it would definitely seem to be that way, that he did act and behave a certain way prior to 2018. And then after his teacher and his mentor passed away in 2018, then a new Russell J. Gould character appeared and began acting completely the opposite of the one <laughs> uh, that 
the way the one acted that was with David Wood Miller, like when David Wood Miller and Russell J. Gould would be in a seminar together, when David would speak, Russell would just shut up, sit down, be very quiet and respectful. Even when Russell did uh, seminars by himself, you could see on video where someone would ask a question and Russell would say, ah, oh, Dave told me not to talk about that, meaning that he was taking orders from David, taking directions from David. Or he would do seminars with David um, on a laptop with him, you know, through Skype or whatever. And he would still be taking direction from David. And he was very meek and very respectful of David. And then when David passed, now it's almost like um, he didn't have that checks and balances in place. And it just totally turned into some WWE character. Another comment from Magical Fluid Process. I personally know of quite a few folks who are happy to be lead. I think they mean led. Also here in the UK, folks blindly accept the royal family. I think maybe they are uninterested in rule one, rule equal. Maybe Russell is trying to include the best interests of those people. Although I do see that this is against rule one, rule equal, he is still trying to help, I think. If by he is still trying to help, you mean he's still trying to help himself? I can agree with that. Thanks for the comment. Next comment from comes from member Bill Hermosa. Thank you for your membership, Bill. Sheeple will run to him. Lions train with lions. Sheeple need their shepherd. Ah, he's talking about uh, Colin Russell, Hyper J. Colin Gould again here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. There's room for everybody. I mean, there's room for the, the type of construct where people need that militaristic authoritarian follower, even though that leader has never been in the military, um, they like that type of personality. It enables them to, I don't know, get cozy in their bed at night and sleep peacefully, knowing that someone like that is in charge of them. <laughs> but then again, there are others who do not and others who wish to take, you know, authority over themselves and navigate with autonomy without bowing down or kissing anyone's ass. And uh, those are the people I appeal to, or I try to appeal to. Another comment from uh, Ruby G. Edwards. How do you know you don't know what you don't know? Well, I know that there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. Every time I learn something new, I know what I don't know. I know what I know I don't know. So... Um, that's that's how ignorance is not bliss at all I think what they mean by ignorance is bliss is that uh, if you don't know about children starving on the other in another country then if you don't know about it then you're not worried about it so therefore if you're not worrying about it then you must be blissful I think that's what that means People I learned from who posed as mentors left me with a feeling of confusion. I knew at that point there was something not right, especially because just when one expected the same mentor, a different one appeared and they both contradicted each other. I don't know if they're talking about the same mentor changing personalities or if they're talking about one mentor being replaced by a literal physical other mentor. It's heartbreaking when people act as teachers when they aren't. It's such a waste of time, and time is life. Actually, time is, uh, to me, is nothing. There's no such thing as time. All that said, I now feel clear when these signs genuinely mean thanks. And thank you for your, your comment. Next comment comes from Lawrence Fontonat. For this video is with the better performance of the understanding of this correct sentence lesson by the Matthew colon Matthew space colon glass hyphen space teacher period. Uh, if you're a beginner, Lawrence, well done on your correct sentence structure attempt there. Uh, to begin a correct sentence structure, you need a cause and a concern. You need two points with which to draw a straight line for the facts of the facts. Then you draw your straight line. You need a cause and a concern. You just have for this video. And then you put your verb in. You have not established your straight line yet. 
So we don't know where it's going. So therefore, this is not correct sentence structure. Um, you have two particles of negation in understanding. You have the U in front of the N, and then you have the ING modifier there. And then the name at the end is not even, well, it's not my correct name. Matthew is spelled incorrectly. Uh, my correct name is colon Jason hyphen Matthew, spelled with two T's, colon space glass. And when you make a compound fact, the hyphen is in between two facts, no spaces. Hope this helps. Thanks for the comment. Then the final comment comes from M. Wills. And they say, what of the difference is with the publish of the your name with the your header here and the publish of his name that you claim is of the syntax value with the pronoun pronoun well I don't know what this individual is doing here with this sentence they obviously don't know correct sentence structure they have a a colon, a space, and then what of the. So this, what of the ferrets is. So that's like a adverb, verb, adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun. Um, yeah, that's nowhere near correct sentence structure. So I'm not sure if I give this explanation that this individual is going to comprehend what it is that I'm saying based upon what I'm reading here, but I'll give it a shot. So this is the post he's talking about. Where I say, really, does this guy even try anymore? Or is he just laughing at everyone by putting this quantum gobbledygook in his titles and descriptions? So here's what he's talking about. In the title, it's colon space, breaking the spell. And then colon space Russell. Okay? Colon space Russell. And then if you look at my name up here, you see the difference. Colon no space Jason. Colon no space Jason. You see that? And down here, it's colon space. That is the difference. If you look very closely, you will see this happens in every, just about every single one of this guy's uh, grammatical offerings. To give you a little more closure, you can see here, this is how he writes his name. And this basically reads, of the Russell J with the Gould. This is the correct sequencing for the shortest version of correct sentence structure that you can use. You have cause, concern, verb, possessive authority. For, of, verb, with, by. Every correct sentence structure must start with a cause. For the. It would never start with a concern. This is the concern. That's the second part of the first half of the sentence. You would never start with that because you have to start the sentence with for the and end it with an authority by the. And then when you read it backwards, for becomes by. The authority becomes the cause. The cause becomes the authority. You can't do that if you start it with of the. And when you use the colons in this context, this is incorrect. In order for this to be correct, the R would have to be against the colon like that, but it's not. That's how you tell the difference between what this colon means and what this colon means, especially when you're writing an entire sentence. As I said, for is congruent with by, of is congruent with with. This is how I write my name. And it reads, for the, Jason I from Matthew, of the glass, which is correct because it starts with a cause, for the Jason Matthew, for the Jason Matthew, for. And I have multiple videos on this YouTube channel explicating that ad nauseum if you choose to study. Which I'm not quite sure you will, uh, based upon... Um, the tone and demeanor here, I would have to guess that you are firmly ensconced in the authoritative militaristic, uh, I guess, worshipping program of Russell J. Gould. Although I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 
hopefully you're here to actually learn the grammar. Um, but the thing is, is if you're leaving a comment like this, then that means that you haven't really watched any of my videos and you're just commenting based on this one or this post. Um, and if you've been here for a while and you don't know this already, then I, again, I'm not sure what you're doing here because anyone who's been here for any length of time would know this already. Thank you very much for joining me for this uh, 12th edition uh, for the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to learn the grammar, you want to step up to the plate, go ahead and contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. Or you can join the channel. Click the Join button below this video. There are two tiers. You can click on the Join button and find all about all about both of those tiers. Uh, you can check out... Uh, or you can check out the uh, over 400, close to 500 videos that uh, I've created and published over the last five years uh, sharing the length and breadth of my correct sentence structure knowledge with you, the public, my gift to my fellow mankind. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.